Many humans try to look after nature to the best of their abilities, not ever expecting anything back. But often, nature does give back in some unexpected ways. This is a story of a man that did his best and was rewarded massively. This is an incredible story that shows how man and beast can care for each other and show each other respect. This story happened a few years ago in a town that was still very rural with a lot of wild animals. One farmer was still trying to tame all his land. A big part of it was overgrown and it wasn't possible to plant crops in the area since it was up in the mountains. The old man, called Tom, was all alone since his wife passed away and his children were away at school. He wanted to do his best and build a wonderful farm for his family. Still, some of the wild animals living on his land sometimes made things more complicated, and humans could be even worse. One day he was visiting his wife's grave, and he was on his way back when he saw some men with vehicles on his land. It was on one of the outer posts of the farm, and the men might not have realized they would be seen. Tom drove on and then parked his vehicle where they couldn't see him. He took his rifle out of the car and walked closer. Something was telling him that these men were up to no good. Softly, he moved closer and saw that they had a leopard that they were tying up. He broke free once, but didn't run away. Instead, he tried to fight and the men beat him and then tied him down again. One of them shot him and they pulled him away. That's when Tom saw that the men were close to the leopard's den and they were pulling out tiny babies. That's why she wasn't just trying to run away. She was protecting her cubs, and the men were trying to kidnap them, and they didn't care if they needed to kill the mother to do it. These men were heartless. They would probably sell the babies for animal trade, and they wouldn't care how they would be cared for as long as they had their money. Tom couldn't let that stand. Through the years, he had worked hard to care for his farm and the nature that lived there. He wasn't going to allow these men to come into his home and hurt the animals that he felt responsible for. He shouted at the men, asking them what they were doing. They barely flinched. It was clear that they didn't think that this older man could pose any danger to them. But Tom wasn't going to let his age stop him. He fired his shotgun into the air, and that caught the men off guard. Then he stormed forward and started to hit them with his gun, trying to get them away from the leopards. Suddenly, the mother leopard also jumped up and started to help him attack the men. Bleeding and tired, they jumped into their cars and drove away remained safe. But when he turned back to the leopard, he realized that she had collapsed from the blood loss. She had seen that her babies were safe and she had no more strength left. Tom quickly brought his vehicle closer and with a lot of effort, he lifted the big cat into his vehicle. It was difficult. This mama leopard was big and strong, but Tom wasn't about to leave her there to die. Breathing hard, he finally managed to get her into the vehicle. Then he turned and made sure to gather all of the babies and gently place them next to their mother. She didn't even open her eyes, and Tom was really worried. He took the entire family home and placed them into a warm barn where he could care for the mother and keep the babies safe. He continued caring for the mother leopard, and eventually she opened her eyes and started to nurse her babies again. Seeing that she was getting better, Tom opened up the barn and allowed them to come and go as they pleased. He made sure there was still water and food placed there for them in case they ever needed it. From that day forward, the leopard and her cubs became regular visitors to the farm. But Tom was careful not to interact with them too much. He didn't want these wild animals to become too tame. It could put them in danger if they ever met other humans that didn't have their best interest at heart. So, instead of playing with the babies or feeding them by hand, he would rather place food away from his home or in the barn and leave it for them to find, staying at a safe distance. The mother had completely healed, and she was hunting and caring for her own babies again. They didn't need any more help. But it seemed like they felt safe close to the farm, and Tom often saw them roaming the area. One by one, the cubs grew up, and they disappeared. They no longer needed to be taken care of and they went off to find their own piece of land to roam in. It was soon only the mother leopard, who Tom had started to call Ama, that remained. She didn't come too close, but when it was cold, he would leave the barn open for her to take shelter. When the dry months came, he would make sure to leave out water for her to drink. They had a distant sort of friendship, but she became a fixed feature in Tom's life. 
All this time, he was still working the farm and making it better. He had cleared out some of the lower pieces of land to grow food. Higher up, he had made the land inhabitable for domestic animals, and he had left plenty of areas for wild animals to still have space to live in. Doing this meant he would have to take good care of his domestic animals. He was finally ready to get sheep. At first, he kept them in the pastures close to home. He was slightly worried that Amma would see them as prey, but she never caught any of them. Eventually, they had eaten all of the good grazing plants close to home, and there was nothing more for them to eat. That was when Tom had to move them further away to the other pastures that he had prepared. These were a lot farther from his home. Tom had hoped that he would have a sheepdog to look after them by then, but these trained dogs were rare in his area and he hadn't found one yet. This was before the time of the internet and he couldn't just find a dog online. This meant that the sheep would be alone and unguarded, too far away for Tom to look after them and protect them. He didn't like that idea one bit. Not only were there a lot of animals that could put the sheep in danger, but humans could try to steal them too. Tom couldn't allow this to happen. He decided to take a tent and live closer to the sheep while they were there. He would still be able to look after the rest of the farm. He would just live in a bit more discomfort than he was used to. It was worth it to keep his animals safe. Tom called his sheep and they followed him over the farm towards the new pasture. He made sure to give them plenty of rest along the way, but finally they were there. He set up his tent and the sheep started munching on all the lush grass that the area held. They had all just settled in late at night when he saw some shadowy figures walking past the tent. Right away, Tom realized these weren't the shape of any of his sheep. He looked out of the flap and realized that this was cheetahs. They were stalking his sheep. Quickly, Tom grabbed his rifle. He didn't want to shoot them, but hopefully the sound would be enough to scare them away. Tom walked behind them and he shot into the air but he didn't know that there were three cheetahs and suddenly one jumped him from behind. He fell, and in the dark, the rifle landed far away from him. He had no idea where it went. In the dark, he just saw the shapes and he didn't know where the cheetahs were. All their attention was on him. He ran back to the tent, but suddenly claws were coming through the tent material. They were breaking in, and what happened next will make you scream. Then suddenly, from seemingly nowhere, another form appeared. It was Ama the leopard. She stormed at the cheetahs, and since she was much bigger, they knew that they had no chance. Quickly, they fled into the night, and after another look, Ama also disappeared into the night. She had saved Tom and the sheep, and they were safe once again, thanks to an unlikely ally. Thanks for watching this video today, and join us again for even more great stories.